Hi guys, welcome back to the Adelante Ministries of Isla Lutheran Mission in El Paso, Texas. Today, our focus is going to be on strengthening your agility on your fingers. The most important part is making sure that you can reach every single fret. Okay, so our main focus as a reminder is of last time's video. We are going to use the tip of our finger, as shown again, tip of our finger, start it open. Okay, so we're going to practice that. Going. Once you feel comfortable doing it, once you can do that, then alternate your fingers. So that way your agility And do it on every single string. Usually the hardest part is when you get to the steel strings up here. That's when it gets harder. Why? Because you have to adjust your thumb down in order for you to be able to make sure that, that you reach each one. Okay? So, remember to do this. Making sure that your fingers are very, very close to the frets. That way you get the cleanest sound. It'll be hard for beginners since you're starting. You won't have your calluses, but that's the way it will work. We'll work on getting that callus going. Okay, one thing that you need to always remember to do as soon as you're going to start your playing your instrument, a good a good habit for you to do is to make sure that you warm up your fingers. So what you're going to do is you're going to put your guitar like this on your lap. Can't put it on my lap or else you won't be able to see it. But you're going to put your hand like this. I'll put this one in here so you can see it a little better. Flat. And then what you're going to do is you're going to curve your hand up. Okay. So when you curve it, you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on every single finger making sure that the palm of your hand is flat on the guitar so you're going to need a little bit of curvature on your fingers okay so it's going to look like that for a very, for a beginner it's really really hard to do because your fingers are not used to doing something like this it's like if you're going to do this too see my fingers are still flat on the guitar but my fingers are lifting up so this will help you warm up your fingers Thirty times on each one. It will help you warm up, so you'll be able to play it, and you won't your hand won't cramp up, and then you won't eventually get carpal tunnel on your hands. It's very important for you to always warm up your hands before you start playing with your instrument. Okay, like I said before, it's very important for you to warm up your fingers, stretch your fingers, do this when you're gonna play your guitar as well. Get familiar with the distance between the strings so that way you're not. Okay? Because it's gonna happen that you're doing the you're doing it on the E string, yet you're plucking the B string. See how that doesn't change? Okay, so remember to always do that, go like that. So this will help you develop the callus. Okay. 
usually they say not to lift up your fingers but it's very hard for a beginner to get used to that to not having your fingers lift up because you're not used to doing something like that so it's okay if you lift them up a little bit at first but your main goal is to just keep your fingers placed on the frets okay again Like if you notice my pinky, my pinky reaches all the way to the fourth fret. The reason that being said is if you notice my fingers, they adjust. Ready? See how they moved a little bit more? That's the biggest thing when you're doing when you're playing guitar is that your fingers are always going to constantly be adjusting they're not going to stay permanently in that one place it's like if you're doing a scale or warming up your finger if you just keep it like this look at how far you go so if you, if you stretch your fingers you'll reach better so something that'll help you to do too is go like that go like that stretch them but not, not just you have it like that and just push it. Make your hand a little bit hard and then you try to open the fingers and then do it at the same time, okay? It's a challenge to do it because your fingers aren't used to look at the difference between my right hand to my left hand. Which one opens more? See, my left hand opens a lot more than my right hand. And that's because my fingers have stretched enough where they can stretch and it'll help when you have to do those really really hard chords where you have to go like that my fingers are stretched completely as you can see okay so that'll help you with your chords as well so it's very important for you to always remember to stretch your fingers warm up your fingers so that way your hand will be warm already when you're going to start practicing or when you're going to start performing. Okay, so that's all I have for you for your exercises. Um, if there's something else that you guys want, please leave a comment below and we'll, we'll, we'll try to answer it as best as we can. Okay, alright, well we'll see you.